Full grown white faced capuchin, male. That's not something anybody's taught them, you know? It's it's something they, they naturally do. Anything that's acidic, citric, they'll use it as soap. The monkey on this island that everybody called Mono Loco, the crazy monkey. He did a few things and earned himself a different nickname, but it's politically charged. I always bring peanuts for the monkey. <laughs> Right at the top of this bunch of leaves here, he's just peeking out the top. He's about this big, so he's tiny. Oh my god. Some white little fur at the top. Have you seen them? Oh, sorry. Tasty mango, I knew, I told you we were gonna like it. Even if they try to bite your hand, it'll be kind of laughable. They don't really have, they're not equipped to bite into flesh. Yeah, these are cute little monkeys. And these are the hardest ones to spot because they're so tiny. If they don't come down, it's almost impossible to see them. Înainte de a pleca din frumoasa Panama, am făcut un mic popas în junglă, într-unul dintre cele mai cunoscute sate de băștinași. 15 oameni trăiesc aici, departe de civilizație, într-un cadru desprins parcă din filme. We're going to walk into the forest uh, again. It's been they told me that it's been raining since about 2 a.m. It's going to be very muddy in there gonna be slippery so walk carefully don't rush I'm gonna show you maybe like a half a dozen plants that they use for a myriad of things I find it fascinating that the use for this type of tree is strictly cultural um, they call these naked Indian tree slippery monkey tree or tourist tree because it peels like the tourists when they come from the beach <laughs> That kids from Wonan and Embera communities, when they hit puberty, they go through a week-long process in which they cut the bark off this type of tree, peel it off the tree, collect the bark, the sap, some of these flakes. They mix them up in a bucket of fresh water with a few other ingredients, including an earthworm and the fruit that they use for blue dye, which is called hagua. So the water turns blue for a whole week They stay indoors. They don't come out to the sunlight. They eat bland foods, nothing salty, nothing sugary, and they bathe in that concoction three times a day from the neck down. Nobody puts it on their heads because after that week-long process, they shed all body hair permanently. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Hola. In this community, Uh, there's a population of 50 people. Well, 51 with the baby. <laughs> He's the new, the newest addition to the to the community. Some of them have studied in the university. One of the uh, guys in this community currently works as an assistant anesthesiologist in a private hospital. He's sitting back there right now, wearing nothing but a loincloth because he's home right now. So he's here. <laughs> 